All right, still working to prepare you for your co college placement exam. Again, that's the exam you're going to take once you get to the university before they place you in your first math course. And if you're sitting there going, yeah, but Charlie, I already uh, I got a five on the AP Cal exam. That is fantastic. I'm jealous. However, that won't do. You're still going to have to take this placement exam. And the bad thing about it is, is there, there's, uh, this is actually the beginning of their, it's, it's this whole thing is called an AccuPlacer, and it's given by College Board. That's who the author is, AccuPlacer. And you can look it up online, AccuPlacer. Uh, and this is the, the portion of the AccuPlacer. If you, I think you have to score 6 or 7 out of 12 on the first section to get moved to this section, and that's the college-level math section. So this would be the beginning of that. And they want to see you ace this. And the first thing I would do is I haven't read over this. The first thing that sticks out to me, this is written in a really weird fashion, that it says this. So I don't know how you do this. If you want to, you can just right, you can just flip that thing over and take the reciprocal of it. That's what I would do. I just want you to remember that I don't know if I can do this. Let me just try it one quick time. That what we really have here is whoops. What we really have here is this thing. Right? This is what we really have here. This is the way you'll see it more often. You'll see it looking like that. And then it makes a hell of a lot more sense to me to see it this way because this is the form of a complex fraction, right? So this is a complex fraction. And to solve a complex fraction, you do exactly what we just talked about. We, you bring this piece up, so you're going to leave the bottom piece just how it was. Uh, I'm sorry, the top piece just how it was. I wonder if I can pick that up. Just how it was. Well, that sucked. Leave this piece just how it was. And then you're going to take the reciprocal of that piece right there. So the reciprocal of this piece puts 16 at the bottom, doesn't it? And it puts m squared minus 4m at the top. Right? And from here, you would actually have to do, do this foil here. You have to do this foil here, and you'd have to do this times this, right? When we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. Right, Avery? So... When we do this multiplication at the top, if my math gurus are right, we get 2m to the fourth minus 8m cubed plus 8m cubed minus 32m squared all over 16m squared. And look at these two things cancel, don't they? Right, these two pieces cancel, which leaves us with 32m squared here, minus 32m squared. Can everybody see what's about to happen here? Let's see what happened here. So we're going to try to factor from here. And this is going to be a multiple choice test. This is what kind of sucks about it, is that they're not going to read your work. You have to get to the right simplified answer. So I always hear students in Calc saying, hey, do I, do I have to simplify this more? And I, oftentimes... Uh, depending on what calc course they're in, I say, you know what, that's good. I just want to see your calculus. Here, they really going to want to see your algebra. So first thing I'm going to look at is, is this. I see a 2 here, and I see a 32 here. Greatest common factor, I'm going to take out a 2. We have m squared here, m to the fourth here. I can take out the least of those. So m squared times, times m squared minus 16. Holy God, can you see what's happening here? over 16m squared, or 16m squared. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Except for the fact now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have 2. Are you seeing this with me? I have 2 over 16, which is 1 8th. So I have to keep simplifying. This is 1 8th. m squared over m squared cancels, which gives us m squared minus 16. Right, so this whole thing is over eight like this. So I'm real happy, and I'm like, you know what, this is this is good. All right, somebody calls, and they never want a thing. Uh, so look, we have to finish, and this is the thing that I'm trying to convince you guys on this AccuPlacer test that especially for the college level math part, they're going to want really clean math. So we have to look at this and say, oh, you know what? This is DOS. This is difference of squares here. So this is M plus 4 times M minus 4 all over 8. Be careful because maybe you're thinking you're going to 
you see four over eight here. No, you know, these are terms, right? Right, the number here is m plus four. The other number is m minus four. So we can't do any of that. This is, is completely factored, all right? Okay, you guys, you did a great job. I hope that you're taking this seriously because there's nothing that would be, make me more sad than to find out that you did all this hard work on this advanced math that you're doing and that somehow or another you got beat on the, on the uh, AccuPlacer. So good work. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.